Hi Saints fans! So, um, really quick, just wanted to make a video blog for you guys because I know I haven't been on here in a while. Um, it's been crazy because it's been spring break and I'm working on, you know, maybe getting some more covers up for you guys. Um, so that will hopefully happen soon, but we're also in the middle of writing, so most of practice time is devoted to writing songs and then we just run out of time to learn covers. But I will do my best to uh, budget our time and get that done. Um, my camera is so crooked. Stop it. <sighs> anyway, I'm just having all sorts of issues today. Oh my goodness, I almost killed this one person in my stats class. We played a review game, and I didn't know that the teacher had called on me. I thought she called on Team 4. And then, so I raised our hand afterwards, but apparently she had called on us already, and I didn't give our answer. And, and so I was like, I didn't think you called on us. And so I gave my answer. It was wrong anyway. It didn't matter. Uh, but then this one girl in our class was like yelling about how we cheated and <laughs> lied. And I was like, calm down. Um, this person in this class happens to do something annoying every day. And I had it today and was finally like, can you just sit down and shut up? Like, it doesn't matter. Your team's not going to win anyway. And our team definitely wasn't going to win anyway. <laughs> So it was just really annoying, and I was like, I want to strangle you. But that's because I have a horrible temper. <laughs> and it was just, ugh. Especially because it was one of those games that was like, you have to do math really quickly, and I can't do that. And so I was just like, ah, oh, my brain. Too much stress. Just too much. I can't handle it. So anyway, today is a, it, it's a Darth Vader day. That's, that's my temperament for the day. I just feel like Darth Vader. Do you ever have one of those days? I don't know. Um, hence why I'm going to work out after this, so I can work off the frustration. I went yesterday, and I'm so sore that I have no idea how I'm going to run a mile today, but I'm going to push through the pain, because good news is, we have shows coming up, and in order for me to legitimately be able to get through our set, I need to get back in shape, because I have not worked out in like four months. I've been super, super lazy. It's terrible. Don't do that. Because now I'm going through all the pain of, like, getting back into my routine again. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, like, everything hurts. Because um, I did about an hour and a half workout yesterday. Probably not the best idea, but I feel like if I don't jump in, like, all out, I can't just ease back into it. I've tried, and it doesn't work. I just get lazy then. Like, I have to go all out every time. I think that was, like, gymnastics training. It's, like, seeped into my head that if I just don't go all out every single time, then I get bored, and it's the weirdest thing, because I'm less sore if I do it that way, and ease back in, but I just don't continue going if I do that. I guess it's the challenge, it's like the, the endorphins of pushing through the pain that help, I don't know. And anyway, I really need to get my cardio back up so that I can jump around on stage and not sound out of breath, because no one likes that, it doesn't sound good. Um, but anyway, so the show's coming up on, uh, la, 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 are on May 9th, which is going to be in Greenwood, Indiana, and uh, I don't have the address in front of me, but the flyer's up on our Facebook wall now, um, and that's with our good friend Shaken, and I think a World Apart is on that show, I'm pretty sure, um, and it's just going to be a really awesome show, I'm really excited for it, uh, so we've kind of taken a break from playing shows, so now we're easing back into playing it and I'm trying to get us on a couple more if you have a show that you would like us to play let me know and I can work with you on that just email saintsofdenial at yahoo.com and I will be happy to figure something out with you because um, we have a lot of open availability right now so if you catch us early enough you can get us to play anything you want I don't really care we're not picky um, yeah so that's the first show the second show is on April 23rd, and that one is the Teetering for Tots Battle of the Bands here um, at AU's campus. It's put on by one of the social clubs called Nova Stuke. Each year they pick a charity that they teeter for, um, so, and then it's run, like, by donation, so all the donations go to that charity, and it's really good. It really helps out the community of Anderson, and so we've been doing it for a couple years now, and we're really excited to get to be able to do it again. So if you guys can come out and support us on that and come vote for us, I'm going to say it now this year. There's a box, and you have to, like, 
fill out your vote. It's not like by crowd participation or anything like that. It's literally they count the votes in the box. That's how you win. We want to win this year because we lost by one vote last year because everyone that we brought with us didn't know how to vote. It was really funny. Um, so that's how you, you vote for that. My hair is just lovely today. I don't even know what's going on. It's, it's also decided to be somewhat silver in the front. I don't know. I'm a silver unicorn now. Uh, I can go join Jenna Marbles. I don't know. <laughs> anyway. Um, so that's that show if you guys want to come out if you're close enough. Um, I would love to see you all there. Um, and we can go to Taco Bell afterwards. It'd be fun. Um, and so those are the two shows that are coming up like immediately. Then August 9th. I know that's really far away, but we're playing a festival out by, oh boy, Peru, Indiana. And so that one's going to be a lot of fun as well. Um, I believe it's a newer festival, um, so it hasn't been going for many years, but we're excited to be on it. Um, and my last big thing is we are in the Ernie Ball Battle of the Bands, and we would really, really, really like your guys' support in this. Um, you can find all over, and I will try and put the link in this video or in the description box, most likely in the description box because I'm not that tech savvy. I can't like link, put links on the screen yet. I haven't figured out how to do that. <laughs> I don't know. Um, don't crucify me, YouTubers. I'm not that advanced yet. I'm learning. Um, but in any case, uh, please vote for us. Please, 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 please. I will love you forever and ever. I really want to play a warp tour really, really badly. And like one of my friends was like, oh, I've done it now and it's not that great and it's not all it's cracked up to be but I really just want to play work tour I don't know like for me it's not you know about oh you get to go for like a week or something like that or going on the whole tour I just want to be able to say like check it off my bucket list this is something I did and it's cool and maybe it'll open up some great opportunities for us as a band maybe it won't I'll play for five or fifty I don't care I just I want to play a warp tour. <laughs> that's all. Um, that's been a dream of mine for a really long time now. So this is kind of like our first shot at it. I mean, if we don't get it, that's okay. <laughs> but I really, really, really want to try and go for it this year um, because I feel like I believe in our band. We have something really good going on, and I think that it would just be a dream come true for everyone in the band. I know it's not just me who wants to do this. Like everyone's super stoked that we might get to do this. So. Um, if you guys feel so inclined, you like our music, please vote for us. Um, and I don't know. That's it. <laughs> I really want to play Warp Tour. That's my plea for today. I'm, like, awful, but there's, like, all these, like, fuzzy things on my screen right now. It's really, like, driving my OCD crazy because I'm, like, I need to clean my screen. It's nasty. This is what happens when you bring your iPad to class every day. It gets nasty. I don't know. But anyway, um, tell me how your spring break was, because mine was not so great. I had a root canal. It was great. Because um, I've had an abscess since August, but we didn't know what it was. And if you know what my schedule is, it does not allow time for any kind of doctor's appointments during the year. Um, so my spring break was basically the only time I had to get into the dentist. So I went in. We thought it was a floating nerve. Then they figured out it was infection, had drainage. They stuck a probe in it, which, oh my lord, I have a bad enough fear of needles and things like being under my skin, and I'm terrified that it's just like gonna break off and be like stuck in there, like where someone's gonna like implant like a tracking chip in my arm or something. I don't know, I'm paranoid, I guess, but I'm always just like, it freaks me out, and they had to leave it in and take an x ray. and. I thought I was gonna throw up. It was terrible, <laughs> and I never want to do that again. But I'm happy that it was taken care of. I'm on antibiotics now, and everything's okay. Um, so then I just have to go to the doctor in a couple weeks, and I should be okay. I need to go back and get a crown, which means more needles, yay. Um, <laughs> such is my life and my irrational fears. I also have a fear of, of roller coasters. Does anybody else have like irrational fears of things that like, something happened in your childhood that maybe did that because my dad made me go on the Godzilla ride at Disney World um or no it wasn't the Godzilla ride it was the dinosaur ride that's what it was and the TRX head that like pops out at you at the ending like traumatized me like and I can't
get on rides anymore. Like, I'm just starting to get to the point. I went to Disney World when we were at Nam, and I finally rode, like, most of, like, the simulators, and I rode the Indiana Jones ride. I was so proud of myself. Um, that was, that was a big one. I was so scared getting on it, but it was actually a lot of fun. Uh, I love Indiana Jones. Uh, kind of getting sick of it, because every time I'm home, me and my dad watch it, but, um, so yeah, so I'm just, like, starting to conquer that fear. I feel like this year has been a year where I've, like, faced a lot of fears. Like, um, I sang in my boyfriend's church over spring break. That was one of the highlights, but I had some very bad experiences singing in my church when I was younger. Um, so now, like, every time I try and sing in front of a church, I get, I shake, like, uncontrollably, and I'm not scared, it's not stage fright, I don't feel like I can't get up there, and I sing in front of people all the time, I'm in front of people 24-7, and it doesn't bother me, but I uncontrollably start shaking, and I can't stop if I try and sing as, like, a special in a church service. It's terrible. And so singing, and I was like, I really hope you can't hear it in my voice that I'm, like, trembling beyond all control. Um, but I did that, and I think that was more of, like, a subconscious facing fear, but I hope that it makes it a little bit easier to do next time I sing in front of a church. Um, and it's really weird because, like, we've done worship services with the band, and that doesn't bother me. But, yeah, I'm a strange person. I just, my brain works in mysterious ways, I don't really know. Um, so let me know if you have any weird fears, and if you did something fun for spring break, unlike me. Um, oh, I also wrote a 20 page paper over break, that was fun. Go marketing majors! Um, I love case studies so much. <laughs> uh, at least it was on Mountain Dew, so it was like interesting. Um, but yeah, that is my life. Um, I can't wait to start playing more shows because then life is fun and I miss it. Uh, it's been very hard to like take a break and actually like start writing and get all of our stuff together and get members again, which is the best thing ever. I can't even describe how good it feels to finally have a full like cast of band member, whatever you want to call it, lineup. I don't know. A full band again instead of it just being like me and Aaron and then Josh came along and then we got Tim and then Prater quit <laughs> and so it's like every time we reach five members somebody quits so I told everyone that if you quit I will kill you I will hunt you down and kill you no quitting is allowed anymore so just this group of people will be staying for a while because <laughs> um, it's it's been a rough road but such is the music business um, but it's fun, and I wouldn't trade it for the world. I love it. It's my passion, and it makes my life happy, and I enjoy it. I don't know where I would be without my band, honestly. Not in a very good place. My band has been a wonderful support system, and I love them so much. Oh, the feels. Anyway, um, so I'm going to go work out and then do homework and watch Naruto. So I hope you guys have a good night, and I will see you some point in the future. Go check out those shows. Uh, I don't know when the event page for Teetering for Tots will be up. And I don't have control over that. But uh, I'll be posting about it so you guys, I'm sure you'll remember and see. But come to that and come to the May 9th show. And I will be posting more shows as soon as I hear back from people I need to hear back from. So <laughs> I love you all. Have a good day. Ah.